welcome back guys welcome to tech genie in this video i will be explaining that how to install and enable the hyper v on windows 10 or 11 home edition now many people want to enjoy the hyper v for virtual machine but as they are using the home edition version they are not able to enjoy it and even many people who have the pro version they are also not able to get this hyper v option so what exactly happened when you click on your windows search type hyper v it gives you the suggestion to turn windows feature on or off and when you click on it and here when you search for the hyper v you don't get the hyper v version all right so how you can enable it i will be sharing a very simple method that you will have to apply that is very easy and then after a simple restart the hyper v will be enabled on your windows 10 or 11. now before starting you just need to make sure that the virtualization has been enabled on your computer so for that make a right click on the windows icon then click on task manager now in the task manager when you click on the performance option so you can see on the right hand side it says virtualization enabled so this option should be enabled and in case if this has been disabled then i have already created a video the link will be in the description that how you can enable the virtualization from the bios now in case if you don't find the virtualization option here so it means that your computer, your processor doesn't support the virtualization. All right. So once you are done, next, what you will have to do, you will be getting a code in the description. This kind of code you will be getting. Now you can read this code. This is a small script that is to enable the Hyper-V. And we will be also running the DISM scan to fix any kind of problem. All right. So copy this code, open your notepad, paste it once paste it click on the file then click on save as and then you have to rename this as hyper v dot bat then you can save it to anywhere like on your document or wherever you want to then click on save once saved you have to go back to the document or wherever you have saved and you will find this kind of bat file has been generated you can see it's windows batch file so once you get it just make a right click on it choose run as administrator then click on yes now this command will be running and it may take about a minute or two so you will have to wait here and once it will be completed it will ask you do you want to restart the computer now so you have to press the y key from your keyboard and the computer will now be restarting all right so once the computer gets restarted Again, if you click on the Windows search, type Hyper-V, so you will see the Hyper-V manager. So it has been enabled and if I click on it, I can also use it. So you can also quickly install and enable the Hyper-V on your Windows 10 or 11 home version by just following these few simple steps. So hopefully guys, this video will be helpful for you and if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.